Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Nasiruddin. I am the Regional Amir of London. Uh, today, uh, the Jamaat has been invited by the Member of Parliament to come to uh, House of Parliament here, the House of Commons in particular, uh, in uh, Westminster, and to discuss the issues that are being faced in the last few days, the, the developments that we have seen in Pakistan in particular. Um, Siobhan McDonough MP and other MPs will be joining us throughout the day. Um, they've arranged to come to uh, the committee room here and uh, to discuss the issues and to see ways in which the British government and the British people can uh, encourage the, the Pakistani government and to um, dissuade them uh, from the action that they have taken recently, in particular in Rabwa, we saw the first raid uh, in Rabwa where the Jamaat, uh, innocent members of the Jamaat have been harassed and have been persecuted within their own centre and have been uh, physically attacked and abused and four members of the Jamaat have been arrested. Then subsequently to that, we have seen an attack at a mosque in Chakwal in Punjab where um, maybe more than a thousand uh, mob of over a thousand attacked the mosque and literally occupied the mosque and took everything out and burnt the entire contents of the mosque and to this day are still occupying the mosque. The uh, government effectively were ineffective. They had been forewarned by the uh, well, and also by, by our Jamaat itself that this was going to happen. And rather than come and protect the community and its, and its property, they have effectively allowed an occupation, an illegal occupation of our mosque. And there are many scores of mosques where we have seen this happen in Pakistan. And today, here in Parliament, MPs themselves are concerned about the developments of Pakistan. They fear that it's an extremism, that it is not stopped. It will affect and infect the rest of the world. And we urge, as Ahmadi Muslims here in the United Kingdom, those in Pakistan, the, the, the authorities, that they should pay heed to what, not only what is going on in Pakistan, but to, to the world, and to realize that such a great nation as Pakistan does not need to be intolerant of its own citizens. 